My dad and I biked across the U.S. this summer. My dad and I are biking across the U.S. My dad and I are biking across the United My States. My dad and I are biking across the United States. We stopped at hundreds of gas stations, and at this point, I am the expert here. Have you been to a Sheets? Have you been to a Quick Trip? Have you been to probably 40 or 50 Casey's? Probably not, okay? Basically what I did, I asked my Instagram to send me all these different gas stations, so I added a definitive list. We're going to be ranking these gas stations, but first, I'm going to show you the quick response results. I tallied up everything that people sent in and my results are going to be a little different, okay? Wawa, you're not on top in my rank. Bucky's, there are only 45-ish locations in the U.S., but you got 12% of the vote with second place. Let's get ranking, okay? So, I mean, I didn't pick all of these. Some only had one submission. I've never been to Hadley Me or Town Pump, so I'm skipping those and we're just going to stick with these. I think these are the biggest the most popular ones, the ones I want to talk about, because we got the best ones and then we got some basic ones right off the bat. Sicko, BP, Sinclair, D tier. They have potential, okay? I walk into one of these big places, they're not gonna care who I am, they're not gonna care that I'm wearing really tight clothing and a helmet and smell bad and just only want some free water and a gas station burrito. Sinclair has a cool mascot, but as cyclists, all we care about are amenities and whether people care if we're there or not. Right off the bat, Bucky's folks, I'm gonna skip you and put you over here just so you have some suspense. But I've never been to Stewart's. Stewart's is in New York, Vermont area. And all I hear is Stewart's, go try the ice cream. So if you're in the area, I would do that. I'm probably gonna do that once I'm in the area. I'm only like a two hour drive from a Stewart's. We're gonna quick go back to the homeland, quick trip, easily B tier for cyclists. Okay, you got great coffee. Quick trip has great donuts, you know, Karuba coffee and the Glazers. Nothing better, and also represent like Wisconsin area. Also, Quick Trip, Quick Star. Let's see what they got in the actual rankings. Quick Trip ranked fourth, which is oh no, third. Wawa, Bucky's, Quick Trip, and I think that's appropriate. Quick Trip, their employees are nice. That's the biggest thing. Like you walk into a Quick Trip and you just feel the love from these people. But the thing is, they don't always have places for you to fill up your water bottle, and they don't always have places to sit. So you can't really loiter if you're on a bike tour. You want to loiter for a while, take a rest, eat some snacks in the shade in the air conditioning, but it's a little centered towards cars. You know, they got some good prepared food, so maybe like a high B tier. We're going to put Quick Trip with QT, not Quick Trip with a K, Quick Trip QT, just a bit lower than the actual Quick Trip. I spent a lot of time in Phoenix, and that's where I've experienced all these Quick Trips. They're good to me. They're basically like quick trip with a K. I would get these large things of the green tea and just that would be my drink. Moving on from Wisconsin homeland, we're going to go to a place we actually stopped on the trip, Pilot Flying J. Uh, probably a C tier. We stopped at one that I remember. It was just when we crossed into Utah. We were sitting outside eating our pizza and our garlic bread and this guy walks up to me. He's like, hey, did I, did I see you hanging your laundry out on the highway back there? And uh, it, it was true. So the night before, we were just camped off of the side of the highway. It was a quiet highway, like a car every 30 minutes. So we didn't really care. No one else cared. But in the morning, since it rained, we were just hanging our clothing on the fence. And like traffic kind of picked up. And then we biked the 30 miles to this flying J. And this guy obviously saw us. And he was just kind of like, he's like, what are these weird people doing? Like, where are the, where's their car? Like, they're wearing these funny outfits. Okay, Maverick. I think I've been to a Maverick, but... I really don't have any memory of it on the trip. I'm sorry, Maverick people. It seems nice in there. Also, Come and Go. I don't have a ton of memory of going to Come and Go, but a lot of people wanted me to review it. I'm just going to put it into I've never been. I got to be honest there. I want to say I've been to a Come and Go, but I don't think I have. Bucky's, I'm going to put you over here now. Let's get into Casey's. Okay, Casey's, A tier for us. And they're not necessarily A tier because of the things they offer, but they're an A tier because they have. Let me switch back quick. 2,500 locations. Casey, I gotta put the glasses on for this one. Basically, we stopped at probably 50 Casey's. There was a Casey's everywhere in the Midwest, probably starting somewhere in Nebraska all the way until Columbus, Ohio. That was our last Casey's stop. One day we stopped at five different Casey's. All I have are Casey's clips if I'm looking through gas station clips on my phone. If you follow through with the daily vlogs on Instagram or TikTok when we did this, it was Casey's, Casey's, Casey's. I was eating their pizza. My dad was eating their pizza. I was eating more of their pizza. At some point, Casey started picking up on this because I was tagging them in the videos, and then they started replying. We started messaging, and I honestly love the people at Casey's. There are some issues if you're a cyclist at Casey's. They have two bathrooms, one labeled for men, one labeled for women, and I don't feel like I can go in the women one. So if a man's in the single stall bathroom, I have to wait. If he's taking a while, like five minutes or so for a certain activity, 
I'm getting impatient because I just want to like go outside and eat my pizza. I'm literally sitting there like this outside of the bathroom waiting for this person to come out. And I also have my water bottles in my hand waiting to fill them up in the bathroom sink because most of their soda machines only had soda. They didn't have a place to fill up with water. Two big strikes on Casey's. And then the third big strike is they had nowhere to sit. If they even had like an outdoor bench, Casey's would have been the paradise for us. As you can see in this clip, we just ate ice cream inside the store to get their air conditioning. The employees were super nice. They didn't care. It's the Midwest. Honestly, if I do another bike tour, I think Casey's should sponsor the whole thing because I was their perfect spokesperson and I would love to do it. I I'm wholeheartedly support Casey's as the gas station of my choice. There might be one that ranks a little higher. First off, we got Cumbies. I'm in Massachusetts right now. Cumbies is right up there. Cumberland Farms, they have water, employees that don't care if you're loitering, indoor seating, outdoor seating, bathrooms. I, I've never been disappointed by Cumbies. On the tour, we did hit some loafing jugs and 7-Elevens. They're either C or D tier, depending on the location. The employees were really nice at this loafing jug. Loafing jug is like a, like a Rocky Mountain thing. Now things are getting a little real. The real competition, Quick Trip, Casey's, and then all of these guys. And I'm just gonna say right away, Wawa, low B tier. Why? They have self-checkout. They have cool water machines. They have great food. I just felt uncomfortable at the Wawa. There were too many people there. I'm like clopping around in my bike shoes and my helmet. And then if we got our food, we had nowhere to sit because there was so many people going in and out. We were just always in the way. And we we're standing outside the door, like munching on whatever we bought at the time. If we had a car, I think Wawa would be excellent, almost like better than Sheets or any of the others. But we didn't have a car. We were just trying to like sit outside and eat our food. And it was not a relaxing break, unfortunately. Wawa, like you do great for cars, but they just don't want bikes around. Sheets, on the other hand, A tier. Yeah, get mad at me, Wawa people. I know, I know you're going to get mad at me. Because the Sheets had the outdoor seating. It was a little crowded, but there were spaces for us to sit around and relax. They had everything that Wawa did. Except the self-checkout, which was fine, really. There wasn't as much of a line. But that outdoor seating that Sheets had... They also had music in there that my dad liked, apparently. And we stopped at more Sheets than Wawa's. Sheets was just a little bit more available on the route that we took. Bucky's folks, we're finally getting to you. You crazy, crazy Bucky's folks. Never been. Never been to a Bucky's. We didn't get down south, but there are only 45, 50 Bucky's locations, so I'm going to have to go down south and try one just because so many people raved about Bucky's to me. Okay, we have no S tier yet, folks. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, rudders. Rudders is S tier. And people are like, what is rudders? And that's a great question because there are only, scroll down, 85-ish rudders in the United States. So we hit a rudders in Pennsylvania a couple times and they had indoor seating. Indoor seating was so nice in the middle of July because it was hot outside. And we just go in there, it's almost like a restaurant. The one rudders we went to did not have a place to fill up our water bottles, so we had to go into the bathroom and the sink. They lose a little point, but the indoor seating, the employees that didn't care if we were loitering, also the availability of snacks and food in there. Rudders, okay, people, go to rudders. Rudders over Wawa, rudders over sheets. Get used to it, people. And now, the ultimate S tier, Royal Farms. Rofo, I've heard it called. Rofo, Royal Farms, it feels wrong to say Rofo. Royal Farms, we hit it in New Jersey. You can go a little bit farther south and there are more Royal Farms. Let's find it. Royal Farms has 283 locations, so a bit more popular. Why are they S tier? They're S tier because they have a giant chicken. They're S tier because they have indoor and outdoor seating, which for cycle touring mattered so much. We could sit inside if we wanted the AC. If it was nice out, we sat outside. It was quiet in there. They had cold water and big old bathrooms. I don't know what else I need. Royal Farms was like a hotel for us when we would take breaks. I didn't want to leave. Plus the people there were really nice. Like we stopped at one Royal Farms on our very last day and the impressions we got were amazing. Multiple conversations with different people which didn't always happen at these gas stations that were interested and they just were friendly. So first off I'm going to apologize to the Wawa and Bucky's people. I know you're crazy and I know that you expected them to be S tier but I'm not going to lie to you. But regardless of whether you were right or wrong with your gas station suggestions I want to thank you so much for first submitting these gas station ideas, following along with our trip, and I'm excited to share more adventures and trips with you. I've been active on Instagram and TikTok and now YouTube, 
So subscribe here on YouTube, go over to Instagram, follow me there, TikTok, and I'll keep posting updates about my life and biking and other things that I'm doing. That's a wrap.